Before the video starts, I would like to thank Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment for sending me a code for free to record for you guys. All the useful links will be down below. So there are three collectibles I do not show. There's the first one in the first city that you pretty much have to collect anyway. You can't miss it. And there's another one that you will get during the story progression. So once you beat the game fully, you will unlock all your special powers. You've upgraded them all and it gives you another one. The third one, I have no idea where the hell that is. It's not part of a city, so I'm assuming it's part of collecting all the collectibles in the game or doing the challenges. I'm not a big LEGO fan whatsoever. I actually dislike this game, to be honest. But I did give it a chance, though. Play through the whole game. I'm just not a big LEGO fan in general. But hopefully these few artifacts I do show during the city or the main exploring areas will help you out. So here we go. So we are located in the Jago City Beach, so this is pretty much the starting location of when you actually click on the city to explore. As soon as you start, go directly straight and go into the town section. If you look up, you will should find, there's some Japanese writing everywhere, but it's hard to see from here, but there will be a artifact located, so let's go find it. So go into the destroy shop to the left, climb up, use your special ninja powers. And jump up to the side here and shimmy along. Keep going right and you'll find a ledge that you can grab. Now all you need to do is go the only way you can go to find your... Actually, your, this is my second artifact. Or the third one, anyway. For you, this may be the first one, but who knows. So that is where the Master of Summon is. So pretty much that is the magnet. So it brings all the studs towards you. So once again from the start and location, this is the Ninjago City Docks. Uh, the reason why they're so long is because I um, just want to make sure you guys and girls don't get lost. So if you don't like it, watch another video. So from here you want to jump over the fence to the right and follow the road. Once you get round here you should find a climbable wall. There should be two of it. There's one here and one to the right. Once you've climbed up once again go down the zip line. Climb back up. Now you want to go around. Make a run and jump over. Go to the next building with the wooden plank or lego plank I should say once you get here there will be a trampoline that will teleport you to what launch you over to the where the artifact is so use your uh, i can't remember what his name is now but use the red guy to unlock it and use gandalf to go in and you'll find the master of speed so these pretty much um are cheat codes of the game so if you want to cheat you can so now we're going to go to the uncrossable jungle. So as soon as we start the jungle, we'll get this short cutscene. Like we do with any other level we teleport to. So as soon as we start, we go across the bridge where we fought the evil dude. Now you want to take a right. So pretty much we're going to backtrack now. If you remember where to go, but the reason why I'm doing it from the beginning of the explore mode is to make it a lot easier for you guys. So go back over the fallen tree or the collapsed tree that you made. We're still going to head back. So there's not much I can really say, but you just have to look at the video and see where I'm going. There's nothing really of importance at the moment that I need to speak about, so that's the reason why I'm quiet until there's actually something I need to talk about. Okay, this bit, you can get confused. You see them little hooks to the right? Ignore that. Go up the climbable wall to your left, you'll find another one located higher up. If you use that one, this will swing you along to the log on the top. This is where you find the Master of Time. 
probably the most useless cheat of all game, but if you want to play in the old style film reel version, you can. By activating that cheat. Go into number five. The Dark Ravine. There is nothing down there. So once again, once we start. So once you come down here, you may need to use that lady to use the water spell of the thing in front of you. But since I've already done it, I don't need to do it. So jump across. Now you want to go right. You probably see a massive green orb-like thing on the floor. So use the, I think his name's Lloyd. The only person I can actually know. No, there's Lloyd, Wu and Lang. Or Zane. I like Zane more. Zane the robot. Looking dude. But once you've done that, go over the hopping stones, go over with your ninja stuff and use Cross or Cole, whatever your name is, to smash down the wall. And you'll find the Master of Lemon. I'm not too sure what this actually entails. I have looked at the cheat code, but I still don't really understand it. So I'm assuming it's a good thing. So I have got the thing activated anyway. So the Lost City of Generals. This one's really, really close to where you start. So as soon as you start, you will find a gold chest. You have to use one of your spells. I don't think it has to be this guy, but you just need to blow it up. Once you blow it up, you will need to build something. After you've done that, use the guy's hammer to use a cannon into the lava. And this will blast up your artifact. So this will be the master of the forbidden dance. Pretty much, I wouldn't say it's useless. Maybe you can make enemies dance, but I haven't tried, to be honest. All it is, you get some music playing and some disco balls above your head. So this is the artifact Master of Destruction. So this one can come in handy. Pretty much you don't have to attack anything. It just blows up if you walk into it. So as soon as we start the Inclimable Mountain, We now need to backtrack. So once you get here, you will find a botanist pit in front of you. And you may find some, uh, well hopefully you'll find, um, these climbing frame bits. Once you climb to the top, you will find the next scroll. This will be Master of Destruction. So like I said, this one involves as soon as you walk it, walk into an object that can be destroyed, it will just blow up. So this is the final level of where you can find your last artifact. Then the rest is to do with something else that I have no idea about. So at the moment I got all of them apart from one. And that's the final one that I don't know. Because I can't see it located on the city map anywhere. So I'm assuming it's part of finding all the collectibles or something that I'm not going to do. So this is now the final, well so to speak, almost the final level of Ninjago. Or Ninjago. So as soon as we start at the explore location. You want to head directly straight and climb this building here. So go across this steamy area, so make sure you do the hops and go over.
So once you get here, you will find that there's this robot again. That does uh, like a little bridge for you. From here with the fire truck, I believe this is where the level finishes, right here. So go across this way here and do another ninja move. And another one, do some swingies. And then you want to climb to the top. Once you climb to the top, go left to find the Master of Fortune. This will give you times two of the studs. Okay, I'd just like to give a big thanks to Warner Brothers once again for allowing me to actually do this video for you guys. And um, hopefully me and Water Brothers will be hopefully interacting more with each other to bring you some more video guides.